Hello everybody and welcome back to Odin's Movie Blog. I am the critic who is a cynic. Hope we're doing well and today I am on the way to go see Joker. Yes, the day has finally come after months of anticipation. Joker's been on my most anticipated list for a good while now and after countless number of articles and news reports all condemning this film and talking about how toxic it is and how it's going to provoke violence and all of this stupid nonsense, we finally get to see the movie for ourselves and make our own decision and our own choices. I've heard great things from people that I trust. I'm extremely pumped. I'm going to see it in the Big D format. I've never seen a movie in Big D before. Uh, I know that it is some form or at least a version of I think a knockoff version of IMAX, because obviously IMAX is, is the coup de grace when it comes to giant format films. This is supposed to be a variation of it, so bigger screen, bigger sound, which, hey, I'm all on board for because uh, this movie sounds like it's going to be freaking awesome. I uh, cannot wait for it. I uh, cannot wait to let you all know my own thoughts about the film as well. And yeah, cannot wait to come back and talk to you guys about it. Go get yourself some popcorn. Go get yourself a nice nice, nice cold beverage, and go see this film. I haven't even seen it yet, and I, I don't think my opinion's going to change, but hey, maybe it will. Hope, hopefully not, though. I want it to be good. It would be great to have another really awesome movie this year that I can fully support, because we haven't really had a whole lot of them so far this year. Uh, anyway, I shall see y'all guys in a little bit. Whew, so pumped. All right, everybody. I just got out of Joker, and this movie's fantastic, and let me just get it right out of the way. Joaquin Phoenix deserves not just an Oscar nomination, but an Oscar win here. And even though the Oscars don't mean a damn thing anymore, this dude deserves any and all accolades for this performance. This performance deserves all the recognition that it's been getting. And all of the damn critics out there that attack this film and criticize this film for really stupid reasons, they come across looking like complete idiots when you actually see this film. And even though obviously it does deal with mental illness and it does deal with a society that's breaking down within Gotham itself and all of these things are intertwined and they all connect to each other and you just dive into the mindset of the Joker himself. It is just truly amazing. I never thought that we would get a film that would break down a character like the Joker and do it so efficiently, so effectively, but at the same time, not really crap on the lore of, of the Joker. You come away with this and out of this film with, I think, a greater appreciation of the, the mindset and the psyche of the Joker. Now, I don't mean that saying, oh, you understand him and why he's, you know, why he's crazy and you, 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 you want to support it, right? That's what, obviously, the, the critics are trying to say that, oh, some people are going to look at this and they're going to say, mm-hmm. But what's amazing to me is that what it goes to show you is that when society lets people fall by the wayside, that when society delves into chaos and we don't pay attention to these things, sometimes things can happen. Now, of course, that's not going to make someone do something. In fact, I would say that the media reporting on all this nonsense are the ones that are actually, you know, kind of laying the groundwork for something to happen. God forbid, I don't want it to happen. Now, no one, no one does, except the media, it seems, because, hey, it means it would be ratings for them, right? And this movie, to me, is important for so many different reasons. Not only because it shines a light on mental illness, not only because it shines a light on just society in general, but else at the same time, it's such an amazing character study of a villain that so many of us have always just assumed, oh, he's crazy for the sake of being crazy. He is chaos for the sake of being chaos. And many people have said, I don't want an origin for that. I don't want, him, I don't want an origin story. I don't want anything to ruin that character. But I can say that this does a really great job and it's just amazing. So anyway, Oh, go see this movie. Seriously, I give it a solid A. Freaking fantastic film.